yo what's up guys today we're gonna go over my settings in apex and uh i figured this would be a good video to come back to as i'm just getting over covid but if there are any questions at the end of this or during this please feel free to ask if i don't go into detail on something that you would like more detail on please feel free to let me know down below and yeah let's go ahead and get into the video so gameplay first thing compact i just switched to this the other day um all this does is kind of give you a smaller little um display for your items as you can see on default it is quite big and takes up a lot of space if you're newer to the game this is going to benefit you as you get to really see what each item is and what everything does but i know what everything does so i figured it was time to get rid of some of that visual clutter so yeah i switched to compact it's really up to you button hints off crosshair damage feedback i have on x i like having it on x specifically for when i'm hit firing it kind of allows me to see the center of my screen a little bit easier for me personally it does add a little bit of visual clutter um but again this is going to be most of this gameplay settings is personal preference it does look super clean without it no visual clutter and also you can still see that you're hitting the target based off the damage number feedback so it's not like a massive deal or anything um but for me personally i like to have it on uh, damage numbers i have on stacking i don't think floating is very viable especially for ranked purposes for relaying information to your teammates it's really difficult to see how much damage you're doing on uh stacking opposed to floating you can just get the number and know how much damage you did immediately whereas on floating it's really kind of hard to keep track of all of those 18s as you can see i do not recommend having this off or on both i i strongly recommend going on stacking Ping opacity, I have on faded. That's just preference. Obituary is on. Mini map rotation on. For map, I just suggest using whichever way allows you to read the map the best. I played on it off for a while and I switched to it on. It doesn't really make a difference for me personally. Weapon auto cycle on empty. I have this off specifically because I feel like I have more control over my mechanics with it off. I hate the fact that if I run out of ammo on one gun, it would automatically switch to, say, my sniper which would be my secondary instead of just reloading so i just have this off as i feel that it um i feel that it, it gives you more mechanic mechanical um freedom in that sense auto sprint i have on off same concept uh with auto sprint on your gun kind of does this little holster animation like your sprint animation where it comes up to your shoulder and with shotguns especially it's very annoying because i very often like will move forward with shotguns and every time you bring up your gun you have a a bring down gun animation as you can see and it just takes a second opposed to having it off you can just um you can just walk straight at them and not worry about that little animation so it's really up to you i can warrant having it on especially if you're on controller or newer to mouse and keyboard um it's not a bad thing to have on i just personally don't like it double tap on sprint i have off i don't know why anyone would want that honestly um jetpack control i have on hold i don't play valkyrie that much so you're gonna have to play around with this on your own if you are a valkyrie main but again back to the same concept i think you have more control overall with it on hold incoming damage feedback i have on 2d taking damage closes death box this is a must have on off i wish the crafting menu was its own setting as i don't i don't understand why anyone would want to stay in the crafting menu when it like when you get shot um so i guess yeah i would definitely want crafting menu on on instead of off but i'd rather have it on off for closes death box what that does is if you go for a shield swap or something mid fight and somebody shoots you and it pushes you out of your death box it's basically guaranteeing that you lose the fight so it, it's pretty much a must have on off pop up pop up all this does is it shows you a little um display on the bottom right corner of your screen when you pick up a hop up let's see hammer point you can see it in the bottom right if i have that off it's not going to show me i have it off i don't know why it's on right now um i have it off usually but it it doesn't really take up that much visual space i know what all the hop ups do so that's really going to be up to you uh streamer mode i have off anon mode off usage sharing i don't really know what this does i just choose to have it on i don't think it hinders my performance at all performance display i have on top right corner you can see your ping your fps and it's just good information to have especially if you have a, um not the greatest pc build i didn't used to have the greatest pc build so i like to know when my frames are off usually i could get consistent frames but every once in a while it was nice to know just so i could restart my um my game and get fps just hard stuck 144 again 
reticle uh, right now i have it on green i very often play on yellow or just default as well but i've been trying green recently laser sight just default i haven't really messed with that colorblind mode i have off play around with that see if you like a different color set or if you're colorblind especially then definitely play around with it see what works for you subtitles i have off as it's very distracting to me especially with my adhd when that pops up uh, my eyes just instantly get drawn to it if you're hard of hearing i completely get having it on or if you have viewers that are hard of hearing um but again if you want to be a super try hard sweat it might take away from your experience just because of the visual clutter but again totally warranted if you have it on uh let's go into mouse and keyboard now i play on 1.4 sensitivity as of recent i've been typically on 1.2 or 1.3 but i decided to up it a little bit this week um so far i'm liking 1.4 uh ads sensitivity multiplier i play on 1.0 but in the past i have had it on per optic and this is what i was running when i had it on per optic honestly go through these see what works for you what doesn't um uh, mouse excel off mouse invert off lighting effect off the only thing in movement that i'd say would be questionable is w on scroll wheel up as well so i can tap strafe and then uh jump is also scroll wheel down so i can b hop and wall jump easier um let's see what else is there um crouch i actually use on c i press it with my thumb crouch toggle i really only use this if, if i afk or whatever um but yeah i actually rest my thumb on c and i press z x which is my weapon inspect uh v punch b n m with my thumb as well i actually don't have m bounded to anything right now um i might make that something eventually i use t as my map button and left alt is my survival items but yeah again i press z x c v b n m and left alt with my thumb and spacebar as well uh while i rest my thumb on c it's just it feels better for super gliding for me and just crouch spamming in general um i don't know if that's like a weird thing that people do um i don't know if people like that's not a common thing people do is what i'm trying to say uh but i think it's a really good habit to be able to press all of these buttons with your thumb as it just provides a little bit more movement in terms of you don't have to let go of wasd at any time while you're crouching sliding um so i think that's really good it's helped to make my movement more smooth it's really up to you if you want to try it or not another suggestion if you have big hands is to use v instead of c the rest of the settings are pretty self-explanatory so i'm just going to run through them quickly and if you guys have any questions let me know I do have melee bounded on mouse button as well. I'm trying to get in the habit of pressing V instead of mouse button so I can use mouse button for something else like push to talk or whatever. And then the only other weird thing is I have inspect on two two things just simply so I can spam the inspect a little bit quicker. <laughs> I'm a freak, I know. Uh, I think that was it. All right, so video settings. I play on full screen. Um, I, I get it if you're on borderless window. If you're more of a casual player, I get it. Don't don't sweat this too much. But what will happen is on borderless window, you'll actually get more latency, which is really bad for performance. Um, there's a theory. A lot of people say you get FPS drop. I have never really noticed an FPS drop, but you definitely do get increased latency if you're not on full screen. I get it. Full screen. It's super easy to tab out and super annoying when you tab out, but you will get better performance out of it. Aspect ratio. I just play on native brightness, 50 percent field of view, 110 fov scaling i actually have off i don't know why that's enabled all this does is if you play octane or whatever i'll show you guys real quick octane and bloodhound alt actually so octane q you can see the fov increases and then slowly decreases as time goes on um, when fov increases it actually slightly alters your sensitivity and how it feels so i like to have this setting off um i think it's a really big one especially if you're an octane or bloodhound main but um really up to you on that one sprint view shake minimal everything else i have disabled or low on these settings to for maximum fps vsync disabled if you can run it i suggest enabled plus boost but if not just have it disabled zero on adaptive resolution fps target anti-aliasing none and then everything else like i said is low as low as possible or disabled and that is to help increase fps um if you don't like how this looks i suggest maybe putting texture streaming budget up to medium i wouldn't go higher than medium as it will put a strain on your fps um unless you have a very very good rig uh model detail you can also put up a little bit if you 
like if you would like to um but i just play on low everything as it helps my fps hopefully you guys enjoyed this hopefully these settings help you if there's anything that you want me to go more into detail or more into depth or whatever just let me know down below and i would be happy to explain and yeah hope you guys enjoyed love you peace